Hello and welcome to the Blood Prince Council guide from learntoplaywow.com. This may seem at first like a complicated encounter, but really it isn't. You basically got these three dudes that you need to kill and you can only DPS one at a time. It's easy to spot the one that you need to DPS by the fact that he's got a health bar. The other ones have depleted health bars and doing damage to them won't help. Periodically, they are going to switch Invocation of Blood, which means that your prince is going to have a depleted health bar and one of the other two will get a full health bar. Well, not actually full, partially full. The health bar transfers from one to the other. When you see that your prince gets 0 HP, look around the room to see which of the other two got the health bar transferred to him. Each prince has his own abilities, which become more dangerous when that certain prince becomes active, aka has invocation of blood, aka has a health bar with some HP on it. You need to watch out for the abilities, but if you don't want to, you don't necessarily need to remember the prince's names or anything like that. All you need to do is watch out for the cast bar. The cast bar is the most important thing in this battle. You will know what you have to do just by watching it. You will always start with Prince Valanar, so I'm also going to start with him. He casts Empowered Shock Vortex. This ability basically puts a bomb on everyone within 30 yards of him. The melees are the ones that need to watch out for this the most. If they are going to stay bunched up, then they are going to blow each other up. So run away from him during the cast. As always, ranged should stay spread out, but keep in mind that the bomb issue affects only people within 30 yards. Some ranged have abilities that work on more than 30 yards. Up to you to know at what range you are DPSing. If you don't know your own range, just move further from him when you see the cast. Ok, so that was for Valanar and Empowered Shock Vortex. Next up is Taldaram and his ability. Conjure Empowered Flame. Notice the big red fireball rising above him. What happens is that this fireball targets and then moves towards a ranged or healer. When it reaches that ranged, it will explode. So ranged, stay at max distance from Taldaram. This fireball is initially very powerful, but as it moves through the raid, it shoots tiny fire sparks at people within 10 yards. This makes it go down in size and it makes the final explosion less damaging and less likely to kill someone. So have melees running for a little while behind the fireball and absorbing some damage. Since the fireball moves faster than a melee, you can't really keep up with it, but you don't really need to. When you notice you are at more than 10 yards and there aren't any more sparks flowing into you, you can return and DPS the boss. It's not absolutely necessary to have all the melees run away from the boss and thus lose DPS. You can have the rogues stay on the boss as they do good DPS and they don't really need to take any extra damage. Also, some ranged can move into the path of the fireball so that they also absorb a bit of damage. Just make sure you are not close to it when it explodes. So for this prince have some melees absorbing a couple of hits, some ranged absorbing a couple more and you should be fine. Last on the list is Keleseth, the shadow prince. Basically the raid doesn't need to get concerned with Keleseth, just DPS him when his turn comes. Note that I have explained empowered shock vortex and empowered flame. There are also normal, non-empowered versions of these abilities, but you don't really need to get too concerned with them. That's about it for general raid strategy. What follows up are specific assignments for free ranged DPS. The first ranged should be assigned to tanking Keleseth, the Shadow Prince. In order to survive, besides having a dedicated healer, he should have aggro from the Dark Orbs, aka Dark Nuclei. Having aggro from the Dark Orbs will make the ranged tank more resistant to shadow damage and thus he will be able to survive when Keleseth gets empowered and starts casting empowered shadow lance. 
The more dark orbs on the ranged tank, the less damage he is going to take. Notice the dark evil cloud above our lock. Those are the dark orbs. Note that you get aggro from the dark orbs from one simple hit, so it's not a threat issue. Use instants to get aggro on the dark orbs while using powerful hits to be on top of aggro on Keleseth. Two other ranged should be in charge of keeping the white orbs aka kinetic bombs in check. The white orbs slowly flow down towards the floor. When they reach the floor, they start exploding and knocking everyone back. But DPSing them while they are still in the air will keep them floating. So the assigned ranged should make sure that these orbs keep on floating. This has been a guide from learntoplaywo.com. If you're looking for add-on guides, you can check the link in the description. Thanks for watching.